Here's an interview from one of our past shows on Rock and Metal Revival. If you're interested in hearing full shows, go to our Facebook page and check out our list of affiliates for times and places where you can hear Rock and Metal Revival. That's brand new music from Cobra and the Lotus. You've been hearing it the last couple of weeks right here on Rock and Metal Revival. It's called Burn. Digging it. Dude. Oh, and now that we've so heard the whole it. thing, it whoa yeah, yeah. the new album's called L- liking it a lot called evolution and uh we are so happy to welcome back cobra page of cobra and the lotus to rock and metal revival welcome back cobra hey guys thank you very much pleasure to be here it's great having you on the show now uh i i, I can tell i can hear a little bit of a cold is, is that from hanging out with sebastian bach mm-hmm. all night long on on this tour <laughs> No, and I don't even know actually how he doesn't have the cold because, uh, you know, he goes hard and he just nails it on stage every night as well. Um, but he's, uh, he's healthy and I am just getting the germs that are going around the bus. You know, it becomes like a cesspool. So if one person gets sick, we all go through it. Oh. And uh, I'm on the list. I'm on the hit list right now. But I should be over it soon, crossing my fingers. Well, I, you know, I tell you what, you didn't have it a cold when you put this album out because the vocals on this <laughs> thing are amazing. And uh, now this is your sixth studio album. Uh, tell, was it a little different this time around than it has been in the past for you? Because I kind of tell a little bit of, of a different vibe on this one. Yeah, I think uh, every time we go into the studio, I, I like to hope we mature a little bit, you know, just in overall songwriting um as individuals of course we're in a different place again and um on this album i was particularly ready for some of my version of my sass to come through too and it, i really wanted people to feel empowered walking away from the words and the guys tried really hard to put groove into the music and we just wanted people to have to tap their foot have to move their head and um i think we've done it with, with some of the tracks so yeah, definitely. There's a lot of butt kickers on here that yeah. Um what are you guys what are you guys gonna play live or what are you guys playing live from the new album? So right now we've been playing uh Burn of course. Mm-hmm. And just deep out of here. <laughs> um Thundersmith okay. and uh Circus. Nice. Um when we've been doing our a few headliner shows we've been testing out in the end, actually. Oh, cool. Which is one of the most Fast and Furious tracks, I think, on the album. Mm-hmm. Um, and Liar. That's the other one. Cool. Nice. nice. You, you, mm-hmm. know, you know, Paige, I've been a fan since the first time we I heard your music back in about 2010. And I just, every time I play your music for somebody, they're like, A, who is this? And why haven't I heard it before? Yeah, is it frustrating for you not to get the radio play or the exposure that uh, I really think you guys deserve here in the states? Thank you. Um, yes, it's it's frustrating in general just to figure out how to expose this band um, because we have been around for a decade, and this is our sixth album. Um, there's no street teaming, as everybody knows. It's all online advertising now. Uh, people looking at their phones. Um, otherwise, it's the radio. And yeah, we we weren't really um, a band that was on the radio or welcomed into the radio until recently off the last record, uh, or the last two records, I guess. But this one is the one that I think will mostly be taken uh, to radio, if anything. And... Um, that really helps us because in general, otherwise, we have no idea how to navigate the way things are right now. Uh, it's pretty wild and wicked out there with social media and mm-hmm. algorithms online and even getting your own fan base to see when you're coming to their city is really tough. Yeah, definitely. So how's it going over with uh, the Sebastian Bach tour? How's the audience going- reacting? It's going great, actually. I think it was a really um, perfect choice for uh, this album launch. So we're having a really good time. Um, the people have been awesome, and it's a really special time for him. You know, it's Skid Row 30. Oh, and so yeah. he's playing those first couple albums of Skid Row, and so the venues have been really packed and full of really excited people. And also, we were added to the bill later, which has been 
another unusual situation for us because we're surprising a lot of people when we come out. They're not expecting an opener because we aren't on the bill on uh. a lot of these dates. And so they'll be sold out before we get there. And then people are waiting for him and our stuff set up. <laughs> and we just do our deal. <laughs> yeah. It's been fun, though. It's really cool to surprise people. Well, you, you know, Paige, that uh, Sebastian's my generation, and you know, I, I bet there's a lot of people. You're getting a lot of people of different age brackets coming out to these shows, getting mm-hmm. ex- uh, getting it's exposed, be, yeah, to your music for the first time. So this is pretty much a, a great idea to have you on this tour. Absolutely, um, like you said, it's the kind of music that's surpassing generations uh, because he wrote. So rock anthems for anyone that finds those still, and uh, those were anthems even for me when I was, you know, growing up and in high school. I really like loved those songs, especially, and um, yeah, everyone in the audience is like, yeah, mixed things. It's funny because the guys are getting more attention than they've usually gotten in the <laughs> past. They're uh, they're fighting off a bit of the the groupies. Oh, <laughs> the girls. Oh, nice. It's pretty. It's pretty funny to witness. <laughs> you know, Paige. One of the things I wanted to ask you about. You know, now in in hard rock or metal or whatever you want to call it, there's a a surging of female vocalists with Maria Brink, and you've got Lizzie Hale and so much of that. And I consider you as good or better than both. <laughs> And I just, oh, I just think, uh, you know, uh, you ever thought about maybe going out on tour with one of those ladies? We have, and we've tried, oh. and we have not gotten a yes on those tours yet. So, uh, cross your fingers for us, but yeah. I just don't think that we as a band push enough tickets for those guys yet. So, um, yeah, I would really hope that that's in our future because I think that we would tour together very, very well. That would be Um, good. But yeah, it's funny. We've been asked uh, a lot about those things, particularly uh, those two and Lacuna Coil. Mm -hmm. And um, all we can say is like, we've tried, we got the no, and uh, it just must not be our time. Because we're still, you know, we're just, it's so, we're this band that can't break over the surface in a certain way. And we've kind of been stuck at this like place for a while and i don't know how to push us through so we're Mm -hmm. just doing what we know best and that's making more music and touring and playing live and if anyone's seen us before we really are a live band so um i'm watching tv and i'm hearing this uh song in this commercial for gear gears five the chain is that your version that i'm hearing is no. that Cobra's version that I'm hearing in that? No? it's uh, What is it? Uh, there's oh. a commercial, uh, Gears 5. It's a video game commercial. And underneath it, there's a version of the chain. And it sounds sounds like you from what I... No but it's way. Not, well, maybe, it's not, you're, maybe you're not getting paid for it. Maybe. Maybe they snuck it in. I sounds like your ver. It sounds like a little... De- a little version, bit of her version, yeah, yeah, underneath it, yeah. It's like that's what I'm. So that's one thing. When he said, "Oh, we're talking to," Ke-, I'm like, "Oh, I gotta ask her because that is just my ears bad, maybe." Yeah, I'm not. But it's, it sounds. Well, I'm gonna check it out anyways. You never know. <laughs> you never yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I was a little surprised about is you are coming about 40 miles from us in Kansasville, Wisconsin, coming up. Oh yeah, uh, mm-hmm. on we're the eight, on the 18th. And uh, so for our listeners here in, in the uh, Wisconsin, Illinois, state line area, Cobra, what could people expect from one of your shows? Oh, man, I would say definitely come down. Um, it's it's going to be a really, really high impact, high energy, uh, pure rock and roll performance, um, like in the best way. And I really think that this whole show with us and Sebastian Bach it's just a kick to the gut, really, of rock and roll. Yeah. So if you want that authentic, like, bands that can really play their stuff and give it all to the audience, um, I think it's a super good time. So I, I think you're missing out. Come on down. 
cool. I de- I definitely want to go to this. So um, there's a song on the album. I you know I can say the part of the title. Get the f out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um You think that song could have used a little cowbell in it? Oh my god. <laughs> you know, right in the middle there. That's so funny. Um, it's <laughs> I don't know. I think <laughs> just a little. Not not in any kind of rhythm. <laughs> just kind of yeah. random. <laughs> Just kind of a random cowbell. It's hilarious because there's there is cowbell in the you know box set, so every day we hear a sound check cowbell, <laughs> and they're testing it out. Nice. Yeah. Well, here in Wisconsin, yeah, uh, that that's goes gonna make over great. Huge. Yeah, cowbell. Throw cowbell and everything. They love it. Oh my god, uh, that's oh, yeah. so funny. I, I wonder if uh, Drummer even bought one of those. I don't think he did. We'll bring one. We'll bring one. Yeah, bring one for us. <laughs> well, we, we hope. Throw it in there for you. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, you know, we love the album, and we can't wait till it drops. Tell everybody when the, the dates it's gonna it's gonna be available for everybody because I, I kind of feel guilty that we're listening to it and they can't. <laughs> uh, no problem. So, Evolution is coming out September twentieth. Okay. That's September twentieth. Uh, it's coming up really quick, and as of now, two songs can be heard on Spotify, iTunes, um, YouTube. Google Play, whatever you guys have, uh, it's worth just checking out. Throw it on when you're driving or when you're going to the gym um, and you really want to, like, crank a good workout out. Um, we have 10 songs on the record, and I believe one, uh, Thundersmith, is getting released pretty quickly here before the album comes out. Ooh, so, cool. um, yeah, uh, just go and check it out. You know, this is more fresh music, and I guarantee it won't, be like another band it will sound like its own thing yes and it'll be something different mm-hmm. for you that just to add into your rock repertoire exactly and you know what it, i'm we're, i'm telling you this right now all the rock and metal revivalists out there buy this album seriously <laughs> from top to bottom Thank it you. is a great album and we appreciate the fact that you're giving us the okay to play thundersmith yeah i oh, think you cool. know it's it's time for Thundersmith to start getting out there, and I can't wait for people to hear it. And it's one of my favorite songs that we play live. It's awesome. actually several of our favorites. So, All right. Well, this is Thundersmith. Yeah. It's from the new uh, Cobra and the Lotus album. Go out and buy it September 20th, and, and you are always welcome uh, back here at Rock and Metal Revival. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And am I going to see you guys at the show? Will you make it? Oh, I'm pretty sure we're going to make it just to see you. We're not. Yeah. Sebastian. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Sebastian. He's all right. Yeah, I saw him back in the day. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Don't let him hear that. <laughs>